Hello and welcome. My name is Robin Van Auken. I'm the wholehearted author. I am a researcher, an author, and an educator. I've been writing for about 35 years professionally. That's a long time. One of the things that I love most about writing is publishing. And everything about publishing changes so quickly that I thought that we should talk about it. Let's talk about books. I want to know what's working for other writers, especially the published authors. If you've published a book and it's selling scads, I want to know. If you've sold just a couple, I also want to know. When I first started writing books, I was lucky. The first book we sold, the publisher actually came to us, talked to us about, mm, you know, writing this book. And it was a prestigious university press. Prestigious, though, also means it is a small press. So it really didn't have the, the um, pack, the impact that it could have had. Our first book was called Play Ball, the story of Little League Baseball, and I co-authored it with my husband. Even though I had been a professional author in the past, I had not published a book. I had been publishing articles mainly for newspapers and for magazines. But I had a few books that I had been working on stashed away that I hadn't talked to my husband about. And I would you know, work on them in secret because I was embarrassed. I didn't really want people to know I was trying to write creative fiction. I never thought of myself as an artist. Do you think of yourself as an artist? Did you also write in secret? Were you ashamed of what you were doing? Were you embarrassed because maybe it was really different from what your everyday work life is? That was my problem. For many years I was a journalist, but I also went back to school and got degrees in anthropology, advanced degrees in anthropology with an emphasis on archeology. span So I saw myself as a social science, you know? I was uh, above writing creative fiction, especially romance novels. Even though my favorite genre when I was younger were gothic romance novels, mainly because those were the ones my mom left lying around and I could pick up and read, I never thought about writing in that genre. When I did start to write, I wrote in a contemporary vein. And there were some sex scenes in it. And here I am, a college professor, thinking, hey, I don't want my kids to read these books. And when I say kids, I don't mean my personal children. I don't want them to read my books either. I meant kids as in my students. So I kept my secret, and I wrote under a pen name, Madeline Sloan. And at first it was very freeing. I enjoyed writing as Madeline Sloan. I enjoyed creating this persona, telling people that, you know, Madeline Sloan was this new writer. Come check out her novels. And my novels eventually started to do pretty well. I was bringing in five or six hundred dollars a month with my books. That was a great start. But then something happened and I was just exhausted trying to keep up with two personas. My Robin Van Auken, the serious author, the serious educator, the writer of nonfiction history books. By then I had had 10 history books that I had produced, local history. They don't make a lot of money. And then I had this Madeline Sloan persona that was fun and free. And she had thousands of friends on Facebook that she had to keep up with and chat with and talk to and support. And that was hard. That was exhausting. I decided that it was a farce. I needed to get rid of Madeline Sloan. I needed to bring Robin Van Auken into the forefront. I wanted to stop feeling guilty about what I was doing and who I was. I wanted to be proud of the fact that I was a writer and, you know, my books are okay. They're fun. They're great little beach reads. We're not talking the great American novel here. We're talking about, you know, in a form of escapism. So I got rid of Madeline Sloan and I went back through the process of republishing all my books under my name. I'm still having a little problem with Goodreads trying to get everything converged, but I'll get there. So Madeline Sloan has been gone for a couple of years, and the problem I've encountered now is that I haven't been able to finish the last book that Madeline Sloan started. I've developed this huge writer's block. I'm not able to get over that hump. 
I'm in a slump because I don't really want to write those kinds of books anymore. I want to write a different type of genre, something that's a little bit more thriller, a little bit more suspense. But I have to finish this last book. It's halfway through. What's wrong with me? Well, in order to find out what is wrong with me, I've been doing a lot of reading and researching. And also to find out why my books don't just sell by themselves, I've been doing a lot of reading and researching. I've jumped into an entirely new department of book promotion and marketing. And even though I haven't really lifted a finger to implement the techniques I've been learning, I still find them fascinating and I want to teach other people about these. I imagine in the process I will start using these techniques as well. Techniques that will hopefully propel my books to the bestseller list. But the truth is right now I'd like to go back. Now that I've been doing so much reading and researching, I want to go back and look at my original books and I want to improve them. As an independent author, a self-published independent author, I'm able to rework my books. If I had put them in the hands of a traditional publisher, I wouldn't have been able to do that. But now I can do this. I can go back and I can improve the grammar, find the typos, fix the plot, fix the characters, find out what's not working, improve my books, change my covers if I need to, and design and develop my marketing plans. So right now I'm stepping back from marketing and promoting and I'm going to be working on my books, improving them one at a time and republishing them since I have the ability to do it. And I want to talk with other writers and authors and find out what's working for them. Do they enjoy writing? Do they hate it? Is it a drudge? Is it bliss? Are they good? Yeah, are they not so good? Are they improving? I want to know if they're succeeding, but more importantly, I want to know if they're failing. Because if they're failing and they're still talking to me, that means that they're learning from their failures, just like I've been doing. And th those are the stories I'm really interested in. How are people able to be so brave, so foolish, and so honest as to put their thoughts and emotions into a book and put that book out into the world for people to read and for people to criticize and then keep coming back and doing it over and over and over again. We're laying ourselves bare out here, letting the world see us. We're raw. We're unblemished. We're fragile like little baby birds in their hands. But that's okay. That's what we really want to be. We don't want to be hard-hearted. We want to be whole-hearted. And so that's why I want to talk about books. So if you're listening to this, take a look at my website, The Wholehearted Author with Robin Van Auken. It's one of many I have. I am kind of a website fan. I, I look at it as a technical art form. And come to this page. You'll see it right here on my menu called Podcast. You'll see a little bit about my philosophy about why I want to learn new things. You'll see this little space. Hopefully it will fill up soon with podcasts from wonderful authors just like you. And if you think you're ready to talk about books, just scroll on down, come to this form, and fill in the blanks. Tell me your name, your email address, your Skype contact. Let's talk about the best time and date that you want to chat with me. If you have a blog or website, put it here. I want to know what books you've published. Now notice this podcast is for published authors. And the reason why is I'm trying to target the unpublished authors also. I want them to learn from our mistakes and I want them to become published authors. I want to arm them with bravery. I want you to give me a little bit of a bio here, just a short bio. And then later when we talk, if you want to give me more information, I will I'll be happy to take that. But give me a little bit of background. Let me know who you are and your interest in talking about books, especially your books. That's what I want to know about. We're not talking about my books anymore. We're talking about you and your books. I want to know how you got there. Fill in this form. 
I'll get back in touch with you and we'll set up a time and date and chat. And as a podcast, you don't have to worry about getting dressed up, fixing your hair, brushing your teeth. Just put your pajamas on, grab a cup of coffee. If you have a cat, you can cuddle it. If you have a dog, you can put your feet on your dog. If a dog's big enough that, you know, you can use it as a little rug. Or you can cuddle your dog. Or if it's just you, grab your pillow, get comfy, and let's just chat. Let's talk books. I want to know. Share what works and what doesn't. Thank you.